Okay, I started uploading this last night. That is an unrealistic amount of time to have it upload. I'm going to start re-uploading it and hopefully it gives me less time. I have no clue why it's taking that long. Uh, so the vlog is going to be uploaded late. Okay, so I have no clue why the internet was like slowing down or was so slow or something like that. Uh, but I re-uploaded like several times and every single time it was either not working or had too many minutes to upload. But I finally just let it go and uh, now it says uploading in 190 something and hopefully counting down uh, minutes. It was counting up earlier and it was like 200 something, but it seems to have gone down. Uh, so, Fanta Family, yesterday's vlog, um, will most likely be up within the next couple of hours. And uh, hopefully the one that I upload today, well, the one I'm supposed to upload today, uh, winds up uh, uploading faster than yesterday's. Uh, good morning, sunshiners and possibly sunshaders. We're heading to the glass blowing island and uh, the lace making island. I know I shouldn't complain because I'm in Europe, but uh, well, Italy. Uh, but some of my favorite YouTubers, Toby Turner, Charles Trippy, Philly D, the Source Fed crew, Shane Dawson, are all at VidCon in LA and my parents wouldn't let me go. Also, we're in Italy, so I couldn't go, but that's kind of sad. Uh, so we're here on Murano, which glass blowing was restricted to this island um, to prevent fires that were happening because of their really, really hot furnaces, as well as to protect uh, Venetian glass blowing techniques. And then our next stop will be, uh, like next island stop will be uh, Verano, which is the lace making island. But we're currently on the glass blowing island. So there's an interesting sculpture made out of glass. Hey look, a glass orchestra. That's kind of funny. So here we have a, uh, another glass sculpture. This one kind of looks like blue fire. Um, and the uh, other one that I had uh, kind of looked like actual fire. This is really cool. These glass sculptures. Don't cast any stones by the glass sculptures. So there's the fire lookout tower because uh, Murano has all those glass furnaces and uh, the old structures were very easily flammable back then. It would have been really impressive if this bridge that we're climbing over right now, which crosses the Grand Canal of uh, Murano, uh, if it was made of glass, but it's not uh, because I assume that would be very fragile. Um, we're heading to the glass museum now. Well, that was a very nice tour, and um, included with our uh, tour price is also a um, live presentation at one of the uh, glass uh, places, so it's going to be kind of cool. We're going to have lunch first, though, because it's at 2 o'clock. And another glass sculpture. Well, I guess we are on the island that makes glass, so it kind of makes sense. We're here at the glass blowing factory. I'm not sure I'm able to film inside, but we're just outside it, so uh, there's some glass uh, pots and such. Awkward cut. As predicted, I wasn't allowed to film inside there, but it was quite interesting and very informative. And uh, now we're going to head over to Verano, uh, the lace-making island. And another glass sculpture. Well, we're here on Verano. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Something with linen, whatever, not linen, um, lace. Lace. I have no clue what we could possibly do with lace besides going shopping for like curtains or something. I don't know. I really don't know. The houses here are very, very colorful. Like we have like an aqua one and a blue one and a red one and another red one and an orange one. It's all pastel painted colors. I wonder why this would be my favorite of all the Venetian houses I've seen. Maybe perhaps because of the fact that it's painted green and that is in fact my favorite color. There's a red house, there's a yellow house, there's a kind of weird greenish house, a blue house, a red house, a white house, a yellow house, another green house down there. You can see it. I don't think so, but uh, 
There's a bunch of different colors. Very uh, interesting. As my brother read from the uh, tourist thing that we have, it's like Venice before the plaster uh, peeled off. So right there is the Leaning Tower of Verano. It's um, leaning at the same degree angle as the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which I believe is like five degrees, possibly. I'll double check that in two seconds and correct myself if I'm wrong. I was correct. It was five degrees. And I hope there's no gelato on my face. Now that is green. <laughs> that is green. More proof the tower is crooked. Okay, we're going back to the boat. Actually, at the time uh, it is now, we wouldn't make the boat because of how far away it is. So we have another half an hour to kill here on Verano. And Sam, you better not be video bombing me back there. Sam. <laughs> Dad, no, mom. Ah, hey, where are we going? So we're taking a slightly uh, more uh, scenic route through the uh, residential area of Burano, not Vurano, it's B-U-R-N-O, I can't spell Italian words. Oh really? I was correct? Yeah, but I've been pronouncing it Verano, but really it's Burano, and even on such a small island that you can walk across in five minutes, we're still lost. And we found our way back to the touristy area, which will hopefully lead us back to the bus boat boat bus system. Now we're uh, going on a gondola hunt. We're going to try to find a gondola to uh, have a little bit of a ride in before we go to dinner. Well, before we make dinner. Uh, so, yeah. We tried it in Campo Santi uh, Giovanni di Paolo, but they didn't, but they, I guess they're already gone. So we're now just taking them. So now we're going to Santi Maria Formosa. Okay, and if you know any of those places in Venice, you probably know what we're talking about. If you don't, then good luck trying to figure it out. So we found a uh, gondola, and so we're going to go on a romantic gondola ride with my parents. I guess. Yes, it is. Uh, so yeah. Hey, call me fat. Oh, there we go, there we go, it fixed itself. So yeah, we're showing off and so this should be fun. So pretty, your old palace. Offices, huh? That's cool. part of Venice that you don't get to see otherwise unless you have a motorboat but it's still relatively cool to uh, see it um, from the gondolier and waterway point of view really 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 interesting and very relaxing for my parents 
also being here. And my brother. Say hi, Sam. Where we started okay I'm having an issue with European internet okay um, the internet in the apartment was really really fast towards the beginning of the week the Venice connected internet that internet sucks since it only really works around the Grand Canal other than that it just doesn't work but now for the past two days the internet in the apartment has been slowly getting slower because I filmed some clips on my iPod the other day, I have to email them to myself in order to get them on my computer because I'm not downloading uh, the new iTunes in this computer, especially with the slow internet. So I can't just transfer it from my iPod to the computer. And that's really annoying because now the internet's not working, so my iPod can't send it to the um, internet and then I, can, I can't pick up my computer and if I can, the video clip is not there. So I'm trying uh, posting the clip to YouTube, you're not going to see it, it's privatized. Downloading it from YouTube and then hopefully being able to use it. We shall see. Well apparently it can't post to YouTube so instead I'm going to try emailing it through a different server. Apparently AOL server is not working for outgoing mail, so I'm going to try it with uh, Google. Anyways, uh, let's hope this works because though technically the vlog would work with the, out the clips that I'm trying to get in it, I want to get those clips in it because, just because. If I can't get them uploaded, uh, or at least into this vlog, I will make a separate video of them at some other time. Eventually, maybe never, but I don't know. This is freaking frustrating. Stupid European internet. Well, I eventually got to uh, get those clips in. I also forgot to say goodnight last night. It is the next day, so uh, whatever. Good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. I won't see you, but you will see me. Um, awkward cut to outro. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade. Well, I won't see you.